Hi friends, welcome to my channel Nomadic Fields. In this episode, I am going to Gurdongwal Lake from Thangu Valley, which is about 30.9 km approx. Thangu Valley is 30 km from Lachin and it lies at an altitude of 13,500 feet. It is a picturesque hamlet with scanty population. I forgot to submit my documents to Thangu checkpoint. So I had to return to Thangu checkpoint to submit my documents. Now I am heading towards the last checkpoint without having my breakfast because I am already late. It is 7.45 am. You have to reach at Thangu checkpoint before 7.30 am because after that the military personnel may not permit you to go ahead. And you must reach the last checkpoint before 10 am. I am sharing this with you because if you are a rider and you intend to come at Kurdongmal Lake, this information may prove vital for you. It's the early November and it is already very cold here. My fingertips have gone numb. Though I have put on BBG waterproof gloves that I had bought just before coming to this trip. Please watch this video till the very end of it and I hope you will like it. And if you like, please don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the like button for notification of new videos that I will upload soon. Soon I will come to the point where from if you turn left, you can go to Chopta Valley, another tourist attraction in North Sikkim for the riders. It is just 2.6 km from there. There is a big puddle in front of me that is full of black ice. Black ice is something that we may call clear ice. It is a thin coating of glaze ice on a surface, especially on roads. The ice itself is not black but visually transparent, allowing the open black road below to be seen through it. You have to be extremely cautious while riding on it, otherwise you may fall. If you do confront with black ice, your first reaction must be to remain calm and avoid overreacting. The general rule is to do as little as possible and allow the bike to pass over the black ice. Do not hit the brakes and try to keep the handle straight. Acclimatization is one of the important things to prepare for while planning to ride Gurudongmar and Ladakh that are located above the altitude of 10,000 feet. Riders may suffer from dizziness, headaches or even acute mountain sickness. These symptoms do not give you a chance to enjoy yourself. There is a medicine called Diamox. This medicine helps the body to breathe faster. Take Diamox 1 to 5 to 250 mg twice a day as a preventive measure and not once you start feeling AMS or acute mountain sickness. Look at this man. All your existence comes to an end when you see such a scenery. Such a... How beautiful is this? How beautiful is this? Puro sorgo monochi.
look at this enormous puddle. I am standing just at the brink of it. I have to ride straight without applying brakes. Now I am safe. One of the highest lakes in the world is the Gurudambal Lake, located at an altitude of 17,800 feet in the Indian state of Sikkim. It is the lake that is considered to be sacred by both the Buddhists and Hindus. But the name of the lake is named after Guru Paddasambhava, the patron saint of Bhutan. He is also known as Guru Rinpoche and was the founder of Tibetan Buddhism who visited this pristine lake in the 8th century. You can see the milestone of last 14 km to the pristine Gurudangmal Lake. This 14 km stretch is simply a treat for the riders who have to traverse almost 52 km challenging terrain before reaching this point. This road is celestial resembling the picturesque road of Ladakh. So just fasten your seat belt and enjoy the celestial beauty to the picturesque road to Gurudangmal.
I have a plan to go to Chulamu Lake that is about 9 km from Guru Dongmar, but it needs special permission to go there. I must try to reach there because it is another pristine lake in North Sikkim. I must try to go there unless I am intercepted by the military personnel. Right now, I am 5 km behind Guru Dongmar Lake. The road is just awe-inspiring. It's a paradise for the bikers. Look at this heavenly landscape. It seems as if I am witnessing the canvas of an adept painter who has stroked with his brush at his own sweet will. I am awfully excited right now. Soon, I shall come to the point where from I will take right turn towards the mighty Gurudongmar and the last steep slope may prove challenging for me but my bike is responding commendably till now so I hope to climb the slope without much fuss. wearing my gloves properly because the last climb is extremely steep and uh, I have to ride very steadily because most of the bikes uh, do disturb uh, in that terrain and due to high altitude and lack of oxygen in the air. pristine and sacred Guru Dongbal Lake. It looks heavenly, bathed in the mellow rays of the early morning sun. The serene and clear blue sky, the icy blue water of the lake, in the backdrop of the snow-crowned mountain peaks that kiss the sky, and barren Tibetan plateau present a celestial breeze that every biker feels the moment they touch the bank of this holy lake. At the moment, I feel happy and blessed because Mother Nature is so kind and generous to me. At last, my coveted dream has come true. I am so overjoyed that my vocabulary plunges into oblivion. Oh God, I am happy. I am really happy. The lake, which is fed by glaciers, is located to the north of the Kangchen Yao range. It provides one of the source streams which joins the Cholamu Lake and then form the source of the Tista River. The lake remains completely frozen in the winter season from November to mid-May. It has an area of 290 acres and it is situated at an altitude of 17,800 feet. According to a Buddhist legend, Guru Pattasambhava once visited the lake. As the lake remained frozen 
most of the year with no possibility of providing for drinking water needs. The people of the area appealed to Paddasambhava to help them. The Guru agreed to help and placed his hands on a small part of the lake area which stopped freezing during winter, facilitating drinking water to the people. Since then, the lake has been considered sacred and devotees carry this sacred water in containers. You can see Sarvadharma Sthal at the background of my bike. It's a shrine where people of different religious believe do worship. And just have a look at my bike, the beast, the Himalayan. Whatever I may praise about my beast would surely be inadequate. It has performed amazingly. The power I felt throughout this ride is mind-boggling. I bow down to my beast. Thank you, buddy. You are just incredible. I have come to Cholamulik, but I couldn't capture the footage as it is very close to the international border with China. Cholamulik is one of the highest lakes in the world, located at an altitude of 5330 meters, that is 17,490 feet. It is about 4 km southwest of the international border with China. The lake is fed by waters from Jemu Glacier and Pauhundri Glacier and it is the source of this river. If you like this video, please do subscribe my channel as it serves as an inspiration to press harder to make my travel videos. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to get the notification first. Thank you for watching. Ride safe, ride hard, enjoy the ensuing Christmas and New Year.